Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back to Pianta Village. No need to show you where that where it is. As I said, I did it in the last part to show you where it is. And we're going to El Piantismo's Crazy Climb! And it's not actually all that crazy. You have to get to that tree at the upper left corner of the screen there. And that's not at I mean hard at all to do actually, if you know the right path. Well, I guess it's not that hard to do even if you take the wrong path, but you know there's a very efficient path that you can take to get up to that tree. And yeah, I see that flag over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll beat you to that flag as yeah, I usually do. Don't you worry about it. And okay, let's get going. 30 seconds? Is that impressive? I don't know. It probably isn't. But anyway, I'm going to take this right here and spring myself to get along this side of the village. Because it's a clear shot. Oh, shoot. Over to the tree, and I accidentally got myself caught on the edge of the pathway there. Anyway, once you get to the tree, use your hover nozzle to give yourself a little boost on your way up. This is not hard to do at all. Your traction is very good on this tree. And there you go. Hey, Pianta Lady, what do you have to say about my victory? Yes, I am very tired, and I also beat his record, and he sucked. <laughs> and what the heck, why didn't you talk to me before? Because I tried talking to him, you know, with the B button, and then he was like, huh, I don't want to talk to you now, but after you talk to that lady again, I'll talk to you. Well, anyway, that was the last Piantismo race in the entire game, and it was extremely easy. So grab the shine, and I'll see you in the next one. Shine number three, the Goopy Inferno. There's actually two ways that you can do this one, and this is a unique stage in that as soon as you enter the stage, you lose Flood. Well, during the course of the stage, you have to get Flood back. Well, how do you get Flood back? He's on top of that. See where that M is scribbled down, down over there? That's where Flood is, and you don't have Flood. You have to navigate the stage without Flood. Well, as I said, there's two ways to do this stage. There's a normal way, and there is a kind of easier, but still kind of tricky way. I'm going to show you the, the kind of easier, but still kind of tricky way. Get over to this edge here, and nudge yourself very, very carefully along this edge here, and straight shot to go there. And then what you want to do is side flip, and whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, maybe I should spin. No, oh, wait, wait, that works. Well, anyway, get up to this tree here. Now climb on top of this branch, and so I climb up on top of this branch, Mario. Do I ever have to spin to get up here? I think so. Wait, wait, let's see if I can, like, do... No, I can't do the... I know I can get up there, that's for sure. Come on. Come on. I know this is possible, man. Maybe that one's just too steep to walk on. Yeah, I guess that one's just too steep. So I'm just gonna jump on it from there. Strangely, the sides of these, you can't really fall off of because they're not... I mean, they give you a lot of traction for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, from here, aim for Flood, which is right there, and spin jump or... Oh, shoot, that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work, but you see what I was trying to do there. You just have to spin jump over to Flood over there. If you fail, you pretty much instantly die in the lava paint. But yeah, that's the shortcut way of doing it. But I wouldn't say it's necessarily easier to do it than the normal way. So what I'm going to be doing is the normal way. It, as I said before, I like showing how the designers intended you to do it, but a lot of people have trouble with this particular method here. I should say the particular intended method they wanted you to get shine number three here. So that's why a lot of people use that tree method that I just showed you there. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny the way that the lava works is that you can never be too close to the edge. So there's always a little pathway that you can walk as long as it's next to the edge of something. So you can actually navigate this entire village just by simply um, navigating around the edges of it carefully. Anyway, down in this grass here, you're going to see this flippable grate. And wait, that's not the right one, is it? <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Anyway, I guess I have to find the other one. So, I guess it was this way, and it was, wasn't the other way that I was thinking of before, but that's okay. So anyway, you go around this perimeter, and 
guy's on fire, but he'll be okay. He'll give me a blue point later, if I'm not mistaken. And go over to here. Wait, wait, wait. Not, not here. What? These are solid? Oh my god! I, I didn't know these were solid, or I, I forgot they were solid, excuse me. Wow. Anyway, your objective here is to get over to the town's mayor. Well, you have to find the right opening to get to the mayor. If you talk to this guy, he'll be like, this should lead you to the mayor, or at least I think so, and uh, yeah. So, whatever. So let's go down here and flip this grate over, and now we're climbing underneath, and we've got these spiders here. Remember, what you want to do is to flip, flip things around. A button when you're underneath something, B button when you're uh, grabbing onto the side of something, and oh god, electric guy, electrical Koopas. Okay, I think we're good to go. Okay, when you get to one of these things here, cling on to them and press the B button. Stay near the top. Yep. Oh, that was really unlucky. Down is death! <laughs> Okay, we're coming up to the spot again where that spider ambushed me, so this time I'm going to be a little more careful. That that did not happen, I mean, that doesn't normally happen there. But anyway, let's try doing it right at the corner this time by pressing the B button, and then jump to the ceiling, like that, and then the whole thing will fall right off. Yeah, you, you only have a limited amount of time to stay on those things before they fall off. And, oh, whoa, 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 I almost was in that spider's path there. Anyway, plop yourself down here, onto this swing. Now go over to, oh, oh onto these, this tight rope area here. And follow this path until you get to that grate over there. Or whatever you want to call it, fence. And go on to here. I think this is what you want to do. Wait, wait, is this what you want? I, I just want to be sure here. Wait, wait, do you want to go, do I want to go underneath it, or do I want to go over? Underneath it, okay. I, I was going to flip it around, because there's this one up on the ceiling there, but that's not the right path I wanted to take. So I'll continually follow this path. Oh, no, 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 spider, spider, spider! Ah, oh, no, 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 no! Frick! <laughs> what the heck? Just die already, Mario. Come on, stop getting stuck on the tree trunk. Your butt does not have that much friction. Okay, we're back under the area where the 1-up was, so let's try this again. And I'm hoping for more success this time. No panicking this time. Okay. So, continue along here until you get to this here. And just flip the grate back over. And now you'll come to this area right here. So now you've got a little fire obstacle course here to contend, to contend with. And whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, careful there. Once you touch the lava, you lose all control, so you can't control where where you land up once you start touching the lava, so you gotta have a little bit of luck to end up at a spot that you can recover from. Anyway, now you just go up here, and there is Flood, right there. Hello there, buddy! I've missed you a lot! Woo! And this is an M that you can spray for a blue point later. Anyway, you want to get up to the mayor over there, and... Wait, wait, what the heck? I thought that you could just, like, side flip and hover and grab onto, like, the edge of the mushroom or something. What? No? I could have swore... Like, wait, that's where the mayor is, on top of that gold mushroom. But what the heck? I could have swore seriously that you could get up there. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got something. There we go. So spin jump. Okay, so there's the mayor. He's covered with the lava goop. Strangely, he's not suffering from any burns, but he certainly seems irritated. So maybe it's a slow burn or something like that in small quantities. I don't know, but uh, you're welcome. I'm happy to have helped you, and I'm happy to end the stage. This is probably the longest one, I mean, the one that takes the longest in all of Pianta Village. Uh, if you do it the normal way, if you do it that uh, tree way over there by taking that tree and spin jumping over to here like I showed you before, uh, it'll, do, it'll go a lot faster, but I think it's trickier to do than the normal way. Anyway, grab the shine, and I'll see you in the next shine! Wow. 
Next Shine, Episode 4, Chain Chomp's Bath. This is yet another one that you can do very quickly. As I said, there's not a lot of shines in Fianta Village here that'll give you a lot of, or I shouldn't say, that'll take a lot of time for you to do. Like for this one, uh, get out your normal nozzle here, not your hover nozzle. Well, I guess you could use your hover nozzle if you want. Nah, never mind. You can't get that high above the chain chomp. But anyway, you'll notice that there's this chain chomp. He's quite furious. The heat around him makes the very vision of your surroundings shimmer because of that heat and... Anyway, he tries to avoid you any way that he can. So what you want to do is lead him over to the hot spring. See what I did over there? Is I made him go over to this path over here. And I'm going to try spraying him now. Just to get him cooled off just a little bit ahead of time. And now he's going to continue on his path. This is the hot spring right here. And no, 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 don't you dare go over there just yet. There we go. And grab this. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have them sprayed enough. Not enough. Oh, there we go. So once he cools down, he slows down quite a bit. And the objective is to pull him into the hot spring. Well, I don't think I sprayed him quick enough to be able to pull him in there in time. So I think I'm going to have to redo this. But let's see how things go here. See, see it's a chain chomp shaped bath here. And... Eh, eh, no! So close! So close, man! No! Must get Chain Chomp. Well, I'm gonna get him on another runaround here. What I'm gonna do is try and set it up so he ends up cooled off near the front of the hot spring. Okay, I think I got a shot at it this time. He's on his way to the hot springs, and I've got him nearly cooled off. So let's finish the job here. And there we go. Grab the chain with the B button. And he doesn't go where you are, basically. He's afraid of you, so he'll literally avoid you altogether. So that's how you can lead him over to the hot spring. He won't go here himself, but once he plops into the hot spring, thanks to you pulling him in, he turns into a gold chomp for whatever reason, and a shine sprite comes out of him. Oh, isn't that sweet? He's just relaxing now. He's all calmed down. He's just enjoying his hot spring bath. Well, let's leave him be. Well, after we get the shine sprite. And I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you enjoyed.